Okay, we're going to call the meeting to order. All those that can, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance right um short uh meeting tonight roll call please all board members are present this evening all right can i get somebody to approve the agenda Motion to approve the agenda, Salvia. Support. Moved and supported. Vote, please. Mr. Howe. Mr. Howe votes yes. Cooper. Cooper, yes. Mrs. Frederick. Frederick, yes. Clerk Flowers votes yes. Mr. Salvia. Salvia, yes. Mrs. Lewis. Lewis, yes. Mr. Hamill. Hamill, yes. Motion carries. Okay, can I get a motion uh, to approve the consent agenda? Motion to approve the consent agenda as presented. Support. Moved and supported. Um, any discussion? All right, and we'll move to a vote, please. Mrs. Cooper? Cooper, yes. Mrs. Frederick? Frederick, yes. Clerk Flowers votes yes. Mr. Salvia? Salvia, yes. Mrs. Lewis? Lewis, yes. Mr. Howe? Mr. Howe votes yes. Mr. Hamill? Hamill, yes. Motion carries. Okay, announcements and information. Um, Highland Activity Health Fair, Tuesday, October 10th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m at the Activity Center. Farmer's Market is last day this coming Saturday, October 7th at Milford uh, and M59 from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And on Sunday, uh, pancake breakfast and open house uh, at the fire station number one. Uh, it's from 9 a.m. to noon. Um, Chief, you wanna say anything about it? Now, hopefully everybody enjoys the pancakes. Um, we said the time and the date, everything was great on that. We're looking forward to it. It's our second year at the new station. Everything went great last year. I think everybody had a good time. Um, hopefully everybody can come and join us again this year, at least to get a good, good, nice breakfast in for the start off a good Sunday morning. All right. Cost. What's the cost? Oh, okay. Ten. I think it was $10 for adults and, uh, it's ten dollars for adults and kids and seniors five dollars. What's the senior rate? B, I mean, or what's the age for seniors? Sixty-two. Fifty-five normally. It's all right. Good good breakfast for the Lions win. Perfect. There you go. All right. So that's Sunday, October eighth, nine to noon. Station fire station one. All right. Uh next item is public comment. Anybody have a public comment? Three minutes to ventilate. You can say what you want. Well, never mind. No. Okay. okay. No public comment. Then we're going to move on to item number eight, public hearing. Uh, this is a public hearing for the assessment role for Peninsula Lake Aquatic Management Special Assessment District for the chemical treatment of weeds and related services pursuant to 1954 Public Act 188 as amended. Uh, start time is 6.34. Any public comment? Boy, this is perfect. Um, all right, no comment. Then we'll end it at 6.34 and some seconds. So uh, next item is pending business. Um, it's resolution... 23-25, um, somebody want to make a motion to approve? I make a motion to approve resolution 23-25, approving the assessment rule for the Peninsula Lake Aquatic Management Special Assessment District for the chemical treatment of weeds and related services. Support. Okay, moved and supported. Did anybody have any questions? Discussion? I have a question, I guess. Did, yes. we, did we figure out the gentleman that was here? Is, is he ever, did he ever come back or? Okay, never mind. I just wonder if it was. No. The, the only thing that 
you can actually do on that is if he were to split the property, donate it to the um, county or somebody, then he'd no longer be lakefront. He probably could save himself some tax dollars um, overall by doing that. And he declares that it's a swamp and they don't really use it. So it's his choice. But he was offered that. I went through that with him. I think, Judy, you were probably part of that at one time. Five years ago, wasn't it? I think we had yeah. the same thing. Yeah. Well, before that, too. I mean, it's oh, not okay. the first time. And so. we talked about the Lake Improvement Board last time, too, if they wanted to officially make it that. That's a process that they have to start with the county. So. Yeah, let's let's not promote that. <laughs> That's a whole other animal there. No, I just was curious. Thank you. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And there's a little bit of expertise in there too with the engineers from the water commission. Judy, can you talk louder? Because yeah, we put, talked pull it closer to you. We talked last time about the Lake Improvement Board. That's a process that's initiated through the um water what's it called thank you and um so if they initiated that they would have an engineer from water resources on that board that could help them so i mean it would take it a long way thank you mm -hmm. thank you all right so we've got a motion and a second so we'll vote please mrs frederick frederick yes Clerk Flower, so it's yes. Mr. Salvia? Salvia, yes. Mrs. Lewis? Lewis, yes. Mr. Howe? Mr. Howe votes yes. Mrs. Cooper? Cooper, yes. Mr. Hamill? Hamill, yes. Motion carries. Okay. Next item is new business. Um, this is resolution 23-26, 2023 Winter Tax Roll Special Assessment. This is um, related to the Trash collection, correct? No, what is it here? Yeah. There we go. This is a request to increase it from 165 to 180. It's to help cover hazardous waste days because we've depleted the fund, the extra fund money that we had. But there's nothing else on there like um, weeds, weeds, or so that will be at the next meeting. Okay. We have, um, we sent out three invoices and we hope they pay, but if they don't, we'll bring them to the next meeting. Um, the, unfortunately, it's a budget workshop, but that's where we're at. Okay, so uh, I know everybody heard uh, the purpose of this uh, resolution is to increase the cost for collection of refuse from $165 to $180. Uh, we've been riding on that 165 for a number of years, and we've been burning down the uh, fund balance. And we're down to 20 some odd thousand dollars, which is probably 70,000 short of a hazardous waste day. So in order to have that, we'll have to increase to 180, and it'll take two years to build up enough to be able to pay for that. So... We get a motion to uh, approve. I would move to approve resolution 23 26 for the 2023 winter tax roll special assessment for the purpose of an increase in refuse collection. Support. He okay, moved and supported. And uh, for general discussion purposes, um, to the best of my knowledge, Highland Township probably has the cheapest um, trash collection in all of Oakland County and very likely in a good chunk of the state. So uh, we we need to uh, appreciate that it's going to go from $3 and something to $3 and something <laughs> a week. <laughs> you know, even if it's $4 a week, that's pretty darn cheap to pick up anything you put out there. So, all right. I want to say one more thing too. I don't notice as much garbage around either, which has gotten better because it was bad for a while. It was just stuff everywhere when they were just dumping cans. So I think they're at least they're around my neighborhood. Maybe they heard I was complaining, but um, no, it's been better. So that's good. Brian, I think that's about education too. If you put loose trash in a can, all they have is a machine that dumps it and then they dump it back and the loose trash falls out. So everything should be contained as much as possible and 
they're amazing at picking up large items and they're still dumping in my neighborhood with the guys. They don't have the machine. Oh, pole. They? Yeah, but still, yeah, you're right. Cause I always bag mine up now with the yeah. sort of makes a big difference. So. All right. So uh, vote please. This is Frederick. Put flowers votes oh. yes. Mr. Salvia. Salvia, yes. Mrs. Lewis. Lewis, yes. Mr. Howe. Mr. Howe votes yes. Mrs. Cooper. Cooper, yes. Ms. Frederick. Frederick, yes. Mr. Hamill. Hamill, yes. Motion carries. Okay, so you guys lucked out tonight. That's the end of the meeting.